australian driving test raw test 32 question answer please subscribe the channel question number one you must keep your vehicle at a safe distance from the vehicle in the front of you what is minimum safe distance number a three second b two second c five seconds and the right answer is b two seconds The right answer is B. Two seconds. Question number two. Speed signs tell you the maximum speed. Number A. The maximum speed at which you may drive in bad weather. Number B. The maximum speed at which you may drive in good condition. Number C. The maximum speed at which you may drive in good condition. So the answer is C. The maximum speed at which you may drive in good condition question number three when you see this sign what should you do when you see this sign what should you do number a slow down if there are children around number b slow down to 10 km per hour and give way to pedestrian number c share the area with children so the right answer is number b slow down to 10 km and give way to pedestrian number four a learner driver who is under 21 years of age must log at least dash hour of supervised driving practice number a 140 number b 100 number c 1 20 the right answer is c 120 question number five you arrive at intersection where you wish to go straight but a sign says left turn only what should you do number a drive straight ahead if it is dark and no one can see you number b turn left as indicated by the sign Number C. Drive straight ahead. The right answer is B. Turn left, a, left as indicated by the sign. Question number 6. If you hold a P1 license and you are convicted of speeding, what will the penalties, what the, what will the penalties be? Number A. You will be fined and the police officer will give you a very long lecture number c you will lose demerit points but only temporarily number c you will be fined and lose demerit points you may even lose your license the right answer is c you may be fined and lo lose demerit points you may even lose lose your license Number seven, in vehicle who must wear seat belt or appropriate restraints? Number A, only the passenger. Number B, the driver and all the passenger. Number C, only the driver. The right answer is B, the driver and all the passengers. Question number eight, fatigue whistle driving particularly at night is also a major cause of crash it can number a improve your ability to stay awake for long period of time improve your ability to react to potential hazards and improve your reflexes number b cause you to fall asleep at the wheel slow your reflexes and impair your judgment number c cause you to become hyperactive the right answer is b your fatigue what it can do the right answer is b cause you to fall asleep at the wheel slow your reflexes and impair your judgments number number nine when you see this road sign when you see this road sign safety zone what should you do number a proceed 
without stopping. Number B, slow down. There is always the risk of pedestrian getting off a tram and crossing the road. Number C, keep driving at the same speed. It is safe to drive at the posted speed limit. The right answer is B. The right answer is B. Slow down. There is always the risk of pedestrian getting off a tram and cross the road. Question number 10. Leaving an ad adequate safety margin can help prevent crashes in this content contact In this context, there does what the, what does safety margin mean? Number A, the the space ahead behind to the side of your vehicle. Number B, a safe distance from any vehicle in front of you. Number C, a safe distance from any vehicle behind you. So the right answer is the right answer is A, a the space ahead behind and to the side of your vehicle that you have to keep a space with a, another vehicle in front behind on the sides on both the sides question number 11 you are driving into bright sunlight at dawn the speed limit is 80 km per hour there is heavy traffic you should number a follow the car in front of you closely so you can be safe number b drive faster if you feel confident number c wear sunglasses use the sun visor slow down and even pull off the road if necessary number c wear sunglasses use the sun visor slow down and even pull off the road if necessary number question number 12 what does this, this sign indicate? What does this sign indicate? There is a bending road ahead for the next 50 km. You must travel at the speed of 50 km on the bending road ahead. The road is slippery when wet after the next 50 km. So the right answer is there is a bending road ahead for the next 50 km. Question number 13. Drivers are most likely to be involved in collision if they. Number A. Follow the vehicle in front too closely. Number B. Lose control if the, if the steering. Lose control of the steering wheel. Number C. Follow the vehicle in front too slowly. The right answer is B. Lose control of the steering wheel. Number 14. While you are driving and another driver start to beep his or her horn at you urging you to drive faster what should you do number a stay claim avoid, avoid eye contact maintain a steady speed and try not to react number b drive faster the other driver may have somewhere urgent to go number c honk your horn, horn back and drive slower to an annoy the driver the right answer is the right answer is stake number a stay claim avoid eye contacts maintain a steady speed and try not to react question number 15 you are driving at 80 km per hour, per hour on the freeway when you see this sign what should you do when you see this sign what should you the road curves for next 60 km drive with care the road curves ahead reduce your speed 60 km under good condition. Number C, the sign indicates the minimum speed you are. You are all right. So you are all right. Number B, number B, the right, uh, the right answer is number B, the road curves ahead reduce your speed to 60 km per hour under good condition. Number 16. You come across the traffic signal with the green bicycle light. What should you do? Number A. Proceed because the signal means bicycle must wait. Number B. 
give way to bicycles because the signal mean bicycle you bicycle may go number c proceed if there is no bicycle around around the right answer is b give way to bicycles because the signal mean bicycle may go number 17 if you miss your exit whistle driving on the freeway or highway you should Number A. Continue to the next exit. Put your car in reverse and back up until you re reach the exit. Number C. Slow down into the emergency lane and then take make a U-turn. The right answer is A. Continue to the next exit. Question number 18. According to the road and traffic rule, which car go first? Here you go. The blue car will go first or the red car will go first. Number A. Neither both drive at the same time. Number B. The red car must be arrived there first. Number C. The blue car must be drawn in form of, in form of the main road. So it says the right answer is C. The blue car must be drawn in form of the ro main road. Blue car is on the main road. So it must be going first and then the red car will be going because it's on the main road and this is not the main road, it's just the inserting road. Number 19, which of these represent endangered destruction from your driving? Number A, making a head check when you are changing lane. Number B, making a phone call. Number C, looking at your rear view mirror. So which one is more dangerous? Number 19. Making a phone call while you are driving. It's very very dangerous. Number 2. You are driving at the night and a car with its high beam headlights on is approaching you from behind. You must. What should you do? Number A. Look at the left side of the road. You, if you are drizzling by the light. Slow down, pull over until your eyes recover. Number B, drive slowly and steady until the other car overtake you. Number C, slow down, give way to the car, then from behind, flash your high beam headlights on and off. So the right answer is A, look to the left side of the road. If you are drizzled by the lights, slow down, Pull over until your eyes recover. Question number 21. When driving in bad weather, number A, make sure you have your umbrella with you. Number B, use, use your mobile phone often, often to check road condition. Number C, Keep your windscreen clean, keep headlights on, lower beam and slow down. So the right answer for this is number C. Keep your windscreen clean, keep headlights on the low beam and slow down. Question number 22. On rainy or foggy day you should. Number A. Keep your high beam headlights on so other Road user can see you. Number B. Drive slowly than usual and be extra careful on the road. Number C. Drive faster to get to your destination sooner. So the right answer is B. Drive slower, slower than usual and be extra careful on the road. And question number 23. Beside the mobile phone, what are some other potential distractions from driving? Number A, using your indicator to change lane. Number B, other electronic devices such as iPod, MP3 player, GPS navigator, and held hand computer. Number C, having your windscreen wiper, wipers on. The right answer is B, other electronics devices such as iPod, MP3 player, GPS navigator, and held hand computer. Question number 24. You are attempting to get a P1 license 
to pass the driving test you must show that you can number 8 control your vehicle that you can control your vehicle obey the road rules cooperate with other road user and demonstrate safe driving skill number b drive fast give way to pedestrian obey the road signs number c drive your vehicle confidently signal whenever needed make a three point turn and park your car the right answer is a control your vehicle obey the road road rules cooperate with other road user and demonstrate safe driving skill question number 25 when you are driving and you see an emergency vehicle coming toward you sounding an alarm and showing flashing red and blue light you should not you should not do it's asking you should not do it's not asking what you should do number a slow down you should not slow down is this the answer number b move left and give the vehicle a clear clear, clear path number c move your vehicle suddenly and perform any dangerous movements so the right answer is c move your vehicle suddenly and perform any dangerous maneuvers so you should not do this question number 26 when you see this this road sign what should you do for the next 20 km look around the kangaroos that can can photograph number b for the next 20 km watch for the kangaroos to avoid colliding with with one number c drive at 20 km per hour to see kangaroos number b the right answer is b for the next 20 km watch the kangaroos to avoid colliding with with one question number 27 it is difficult to drive smoothly whistle keeping you keeping all your attention on the vehicle in front what are some other things you must focus on number a const, con, constantly look at the vehicle around you and look in your side mirror and rear view mirror number b concert concentrate on the vehicle in front only and more important to notice if their driver make a mistake number c look well into the distance look to both side check your mirrors and do head check behind you when needed number c look well into distance look to both side check your mirrors and do a head check behind you when needed Uh, question number 28 if you hold a learner permit and car driving without being accompanied by the holder of a full license the a you a learner permit must be suspended may be suspended number b you may lose the merit points number c your vehicle may be impounded so the right answer for 28 is number a you your learner permit may be suspended question number 29 which of the following does not increase the risk of crashing or being seriously hurt number a speeding while not wearing a seat belt number b eating food before getting in your vehicle number c using mobile phone and other electronic devices the, the right answer is b because which of not increase the crash or being hurt Number B, eating food before getting into your vehicle. If you are full, you will be will be okay. So the right answer is listen. Question number question number thirty. Refusing a breath test in is an offence. What are the penalties of you are convicted? Number A, you will lose two demerit points. Number B, your license will be cancelled and you will be disqualified from driving for at least two years. Number C, you will be heavily fined. The right answer is B, your license will be cancelled and you will be disqualified from driving a from driving from at least two years. So now question number thirty-one. 
speed is affected in almost dash all fatal crashes what is the speed? because of the speed lots of crashes done how many is that number a 30 percent number b 15 percent number c 20 percent and the right answer is number c 20 percent so our last question for this video is question number 32 but watch all the videos watch other videos subscribe the channel and write down your comments and press the like button number 32 don't mix driving with alcohol drugs or other medicine instead number i find someone who can drive you despite having using drugs or consumed alcohol number b find someone who is alcohol and drug free to drive you number c ask someone who has had only a few drinks to drive you uh, the right answer is b find someone who is alcohol and drug free to drive you so thanks for watching the videos if you want to watch more videos about quiz australian citizenship test australian driving license test please subscribe the channel comments below and click on the bell icon thank you very much